Today, we're doing something a little bit different as we continue on with our Perfect Player series. Today, we are inputting the perfect wonder kid into Football Manager, and we're going to see how they develop into the Philippines. So here is our perfect wonder kid. We have given him 200 potential ability, but instead of having him start off as the perfect player, we've given him a current ability of 75. And in doing that, we've given him some attributes that are important for a striker around 9, other important attributes around 7, and the rest of his attributes being about 5, with his physicals all being 12 so that those can develop. We've also given him a professional personality to help maximize his development to potentially get him to that 200 potential ability. We have put our perfect wonder kid in the Philippines Football League with ADT or the ASCALS development team because I feel like there's no better place in the Philippines to develop than with the ASCALS development team, which was kind of founded as a young team to help develop the Filipino national team. The ASCALS development team is projected to finish fifth in the Filipino Football League in the first season, the perfect wonder kid being in the projected lineup. We do have him playing as a striker. The season previews are really weird. They have him as a center back right now. But we'll see how the perfect wonder kid develops in the ASCALS development team and in the Philippines for a few years. We have given our perfect wonder kid a three-year contract at the Oscals development team, so we'll see how he develops over this three-year period and where he goes after that to continue on in his career. We'll also see when our perfect wonder kid can break into the Filipino national team and whether or not they can have a big impact on the Philippines national team. We saw previously that it took four perfect players for the Philippines to win the World Cup, and our previous perfect players in different positions all had a pretty big impact on how the Philippines did as far as world rankings and other tournaments are concerned. So we'll see if our perfect wonder kid can develop to help the Philippines, the ASCALS development team, and where they'll move, maybe if they move to Europe or they stay somewhere in Asia. So to start off, I'm going to simulate one year into the future to see how our perfect wonder kid is developing, and we'll catch up with you all then. And we are back one year into the future, and the perfect wonder kid does seem to have developed a little bit. Their physicals have developed quite nicely, pace, stamina, strength, jumping reach, balance, acceleration, all improving. Their off the ball has also improved quite nicely, including finishing, first touch, composure, and some of those attributes that we would expect for a striker to be good at. It seems that the Ascals development team has also trained the perfect wonder kid to play in some of those winger positions as well, which may be hampering the development as they start to learn new positions, with right winger and left winger also being positions that they seem to be trained at. However, our perfect wonder kid has had a huge boost in their current ability. At the beginning of season one, they started off with a 75 current ability that has shot up all the way to 92. So the perfect wonder kid is definitely improving, and I'm sure their model professional personality is helping with that. It seems that the perfect wonder kid has also already broken into the Philippines national team, appearing in two caps, although it hasn't affected their world ranking at all. And our perfect wonder kid is already appearing as one of the top players in the Philippines national team. So clearly they are getting into the lineup and we'll see how the career develops from here. Looking at how ADT did in their first season, they finished fourth, they were projected to finish fifth, so the perfect wonder kid may be contributing a little bit, but they didn't have a huge impact on how ADT did this season. Looking at the Philippines Football League awards, unfortunately our perfect wonder kid didn't win the Young Player of the Year, it was another player on the Ask Health Development team that won that award. However, our perfect wonder kid did end up winning the top goal score award, finishing on 12 goals for the season. And our perfect wonder kid was the only person not from United City or Kaya to make it into the team of the year, getting in in the striker position. And looking at our perfect wonder kid stats, he had a pretty good overall season. Again, he got those 12 goals, one player of the match award, and an average about 7.0 rating. So overall, a pretty good start for our perfect wonder kid. As we mentioned earlier, our perfect wonder kid has a three-year contract. So I think we're going to go forward three years at the end of his contract with the Ascals development team, and we're going to see whether he's moved on then.
Welcome back. We are three years into the future, and the perfect wonder kid has moved to Europe. He's moved to France with Olympic Marseille. And it seems like he's already made his debut with the club. If we look at his career stats, he started off in their second team and in the last season made one appearance for the Olympic Marseille team in Ligue 1. So overall, it seems like he's developing pretty well. And looking at his attributes, his physicals are coming in quite nicely. Acceleration, jumping race, pace, all developing well. And some of those attributes that are important for a striker are also developing quite nicely with dribbling, finishing, first touch, composure, and off the ball all being improved. We are seeing that the media is starting to recognize the perfect Wonder Kid's potential as a promising striker. Looking at his current ability though, it does seem like his development may have stalled. In that first season, we saw a pretty huge increase in current ability. That increase is still there with a 115 current ability, but we're not seeing as big of an increase as maybe we saw previously. Our perfect wonder kid has made 28 appearances and now scored 10 goals for the Filipino national team. Looking at the Filipino national team, they have increased a little bit from 132nd where we saw them previously to 120th. So we are seeing a little bit of an improvement there. That being said, the Philippines still hasn't won anything with the perfect wonder kid. And just like in previous episodes, we're seeing them lose the Southeast Asian Championships to Thailand. So the perfect wonder kid is getting involved with the team, but maybe not helping improve the team that much. And looking at some of the previous season's awards, we never saw the perfect wonder kid winning the player of the year. They only won the top goal score award that one season, although they did finish second in their second season. And they didn't win the young player of the year award. That's something that really surprised me. I was expecting the perfect wonder kid to win the young player of the year award at some point. And it wasn't ever quite enough for the Oscars development team to win the Philippines Football League as they did finish fourth every year that the perfect wonder kid was there. Now with the perfect wonder kid continuing his development in Europe, I think we should go five years into the future to see how they're doing and see how they're developing and whether they can get closer to that 200 potential ability. We'll see you then. All right, we are five years into the future and I would say the perfect wonder kid is definitely developing because he has now moved to Tottenham and England after a 119 million pound move from Olympic Marseille. Our perfect wonder kid is making money moves, and we can see in the previous season, 15 goals and 29 appearances for Tottenham, so they are starting to develop quite well. Looking through their seasons with Marseille, it looks like they didn't really break into the squad fully until the very last season, when they made 32 appearances and scored 14 goals. In previous seasons, they never managed above 17 appearances in Ligue 1, and didn't have great average ratings, so we'll look at their attributes to see how they developed then. But looking at the Perfect Wonder Kids attributes, it does seem that they are developing pretty well. Dribbling and finishing are all really high, composure high, and those physical attributes are looking real good. So this suggests that they are developing. Let's see what their current ability looks like at the moment. And their current ability is really high, 174 current ability out of 200. That is a high current ability. That's probably on par with like Ilkay Gundogan and players like that in the game. So a 174 current ability, they are definitely on their way to at 200 and becoming that really great player. An interesting note from their biography, our perfect wonder kid does have a European trophy. They won the Europa Conference League with Olympic Marseille in 2028 so they do have a trophy under their belt and we'll see if they can win a few more trophies at tottenham it looks like tottenham finished third in their last season so we'll see if the perfect wonder kid can help lead them to an english premier division trophy and not that they're going to be in the champions league we'll see how they do there also interestingly just looking at this west ham got relegated but made the Champions League. They must have qualified to the Champions League by winning the Europa League, maybe? So let's just look at that, just because that's something... Yep, they, they beat Hertha Berlin in the UEFA Europa League final. I don't think I've ever seen a team playing in the Skybet Championship. 
but in the Champions League. So that's just an interesting part of the season. And it doesn't seem like our perfect wonder kid ever won the Under-21 Footballer of the Year Award or the Next Gen Award, which is a little disappointing given that they're 174 current ability now. But we'll see how they do as far as Ballon d'Ors and World Player of the Year Awards in the future. And it does look like the perfect wonder kit is helping the Philippines. The Philippines has gone all the way up 204th in world rankings. He is considered their key player and is their vice captain. And looking at the Philippines schedule, the perfect wonder kit almost helped lead them to a World Cup. They did make the playoffs for the World Cup, but unfortunately lost to Syria in that playoff. So the perfect wonder kid not quite doing enough to help get them to the World Cup. So with our perfect wonder kid now at Tottenham in England, developing very nicely with the Filipino national team, let's go to the peak of his career at about 30 years old, and we'll see whether or not he's developed well. Welcome back. We are now in 2037. Our perfect wonder kid is 30 years old, and he looks like an absolutely amazing player. All of the attributes that you need for a striker are in the green, absolutely fantastic. Dribbling, finishing, first touch, composure, off the ball, and all of those physical attributes are absolutely through the roof. This is a world-class player. Let's see what his current ability is. And going to his attribute details, our perfect wonder kid has made it to a 200 current ability, reaching that 200 potential ability. This is the best player in the world. For context, I think Messi's highest current ability might have been 197, 198, maybe even 199. So the perfect wonder kid at a 200 current ability is in theory the greatest player of all time. And this is reflecting in his performances for Tottenham. He, especially recently, except for maybe the 2034-35 season, has had really high average rating, 7.2, 7.47 and scoring a lot of goals, 26, 25 goals. I'll be curious to see whether or not that's been enough to win the golden boot. And it looks like our perfect wonder kid has won a few trophies with Tottenham, the UEFA Europa League, the Super Cup, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, and the Community Shield. And given that he did go to Tottenham, it is not in the history of the Tottenham to win trophies. So I think probably the greatest accomplishment of the perfect wonder kid is to be winning anything with Tottenham. It doesn't seem like that 200 current ability has necessarily translated to success for the Philippines, where I believe he's now retired from international duty. The Philippines is now only 96 in world rankings, and he doesn't appear as a captain, vice captain, or a key player. And looking back through some of these seasons, it doesn't look like the Philippines has won anything or made the World Cup. So he's done pretty well, and looking at their history... It looks like they did get to 88th in world rankings, so that's really good. He does hold a number of records for the Philippines national team. However, it wasn't enough to win a trophy as they still just have those two Peace Cups to their name. Looking at some of the world awards, it doesn't seem like the perfect wonder kid has won much, surprisingly, given his 200 current ability. Maybe it's because he's playing at Tottenham, but he hasn't won a World Player of the Year award yet. Yusufa Makoko winning most of those. His current ability is only 179. So looking at the golden ball, the perfect wonder kid has won a Ballon d'Or, but he's only won the one, which is a little bit surprising. Again, I would have expected him to win more, but based on Yusufa Makoko and this Thomas Ohio winning it, I would assume that FC Bayern is probably dominating Europe at the moment. And looking at the EPL awards, this does seem to be reflected. He's not winning the Players Player of the Year award. He is getting into the Team of the Year. But looking at the Football of the Year award, it's going to Bukayo Saka, Oliver. The Perfect Wonder Kid isn't winning these awards, which is pretty surprising. That being said, he did win the last two Golden Boot awards. So at least the Perfect Wonder Kid is getting some top goal scorers and Golden Boot, despite not winning the Player of the Year, Ballon d'Or, or any of these other awards. So our now legendary striker, our perfect wonder kid, we're going to simulate to the end of his career and look at his career as a whole then. And we are back with the perfect wonder kid at the end of his career this season before he retires. And we can see he's been downgraded to an impact sub and his attributes have definitely reduced. 
his physical attributes not being what they once were. Looking at his attribute details, he's down to a 146 current ability. That's probably like a middle of the road EPL player. So he's definitely not as good as he once was, but we do still see a very good player here. And looking at his career stats, overall, he had a really good career, scoring lots of goals for Tottenham, 323 goals across the course of his career, and getting some high average ratings, at least until the most recent season, where those downgraded physicals probably made a really big difference to how he was doing. Looking at the trophies he's won, it doesn't seem like they won a whole lot more Tottenham, but they did win the FA Cup three times consecutively. And they might have won another UEFA Super Cup and UEFA Europa League, but we're not seeing the perfect wonder kid winning an EPL or a Champions League, unfortunately. Looking at past performances in the EPL, it looks like the perfect wonder kid was able to lead Tottenham once to a second place finish, but Chelsea and Manchester City, mostly Chelsea, have essentially dominated the EPL while our perfect wonder kid has been here. And this seems to be reflected in the yearly awards. We're not seeing the perfect wonder kid win the footballer of the year. We're not seeing him win the player's player of the year. And it doesn't seem like he was making that many team of the year's award, only seeing him once there. We are seeing him there. Okay, so it looks like previously he might have been getting in, but in the most recent seasons, not really making the team of the year that often. Our perfect wonder kid did get the top goal scorer award a few years though, winning it three times consecutively between 2035 and 2038, and then winning it one more time in the 2040-41 season. As far as the Ballon d'Or is concerned, it looks like the perfect wonder kid only won it that one time, and other players, including this Leonard Boulanger, who is really good, were winning it instead. So. As far as being the best player ever is concerned and reaching that 200 concurrent ability, unfortunately, we didn't see our perfect wonder kid win the Ballon d'Or or kind of the World Football of the Year that often. We did see him winning some top goal score awards in the EPL, but as far as kind of breaking through, I'm a little surprised he didn't do as well as I might have expected. I wonder if being on Tottenham, not winning a Champions League, not winning an EPL probably made a big difference there. So I think we're going to wrap it up there with our perfect wonder kid. Overall, he had a great career. He did reach his potential ability despite starting off in the Philippines. But being at Tottenham, we didn't see him winning those big trophies. And as a result, we may not have seen him win those big individual awards. So thank you for watching this video. We'll be back with more Football Manager content soon. Bye.